everybody, and welcome back once again. Another edition of Inside the Headset, Week 12. Game 12, we're into the playoffs, and I'm with the head coach of the Blackman Blaze, Coach Philip Shad Owens. Coach, last Friday night, took on the Cane Ridge uh, Ravens. Ravens, I'll get it right one day. Took on Cane Ridge Ravens, came away with a win, and um, since then, what has Blackman Blaze been doing? I've been working for the next one. You know, uh, <clears throat> when you get this time of year, it's all just it's one season at a time. Every, every game's a season, it's 48 minutes of a season. And, and so as soon as that ended, you know, we congratulated our kids. Uh, moving on, that's the goal each week. And uh, since that point, uh, since that evening, we've been uh, working towards the next one, which is Riverdale. Uh, you've been at gate 12 several times in your career and everything. Uh, this will be no different. How important will it be to establish tempo uh, this Friday night against the Riverdale Warriors and, and just that first first quarter that you're going to go into? Well, yeah, we want to establish, you know, our will in the game. Uh, you know, we're not a hot tempo team necessarily, but we want to establish our will. Uh, we want to uh, establish, uh, you know, trying to be the better team, you know, right off the bat, all those kind of things. But it's going to be a 48-minute game. You know, Riverdale is, you know, 10-2 and two, or 9-2, and two, I guess, 9-2. and two. Yeah. Uh, they've lost to us in Oakland. Uh, they beat everybody else, you know, a lot of good teams along the way. So, uh, you know, really good football team. So it's going to take our best effort. Uh, you know, what happened early in the year really has nothing to do with what happens this time of year. You know, that's kind of a – you know, something that people can fall into or trap they can, but our kids understand that. Uh, they've been around long enough. They've played enough of these kind of games. They understand that. And uh, so, you know, they, Riverdale's got our undivided attention. We know how good they are. Um, they got weapons on both sides of the ball. They, you know, they got good coaching, all the things you expect in Rutherford County, you know, to be honest with you. So uh, we've had a great week of practice, and, uh, you know, we're ready to, we're ready to go tomorrow night. Uh, we're – you played them earlier in the year, and now we fast forward to this game. What do you think they've gotten really a lot better since you saw them just looking at the recent video compared to the video you traded earlier in the year? Uh, on both sides of the ball, they've gotten better. But if we want to talk offense first, they've gotten more comfortable in their – they've kind of got a new uh, new scheme, I guess, offensively. Even though they're doing some of the things Ron's always done out of lean T, but now it's more of a spread, uh, spread formation. I think there's a bigger comfort level with their athletes. Uh, I think they know who they are. I mean, you know, early in the year, you're kind of still trying to figure out who, you know, what can we do well and uh, what do we not do well. And and uh, this time of year, I mean, Ron's such a good offensive football coach that uh, he knows what his kids are capable of doing. And you can see their level of comfort in the offense has just grown and grown by leaps and bounds, really. Uh, and then defensively, well, they're just playing better football. You know, I, I think, you know, they had a lot of inexperience, you know, uh, to start the year and, and trying to put all their pieces together. and. And you can just see, I mean, you know, lately they they played two great weeks in a row. Uh, they played solid against Oakland, but uh, the last two weeks against Smyrna, both weeks, uh, uh, they've been dominant on the defensive side of the ball. And uh, uh, so every phase of their game has has improved, and, and I hope every phase of our game's improved as well. Uh, so to tomorrow night at seven o'clock, right here. Uh, anything you want to say to the fans or anything? Uh, how was your crowd the other night? Wasn't real good. I mean, no, the home crowd was pretty good. I mean, right. Ray, uh, but Cane Ridge probably didn't bring 30, right. 30 people. Close family. I mean, they didn't bring most of the close family. I mean, there wasn't a there wasn't a person per player on Cane Ridge's oh. side. And uh, truly, I mean, there you know they got fifty players. There wasn't fifty fans there for Cane Ridge. So I thought our crowd was okay. I mean, we've had better crowds, obviously, but but uh, it was still a pretty solid crowd on our on our behalf. Our fans used to show up pretty good, you know. And so tomorrow night, I, I feel like it'll be a big crowd. I think Riverdale will support obviously their kids and. And I know Blackman's going to support ours, and, and uh, it's a great county, county rivalry. I mean, it's uh, whatever they call it, the backyard brawl times two, you know, so to speak. So um, everybody's looking forward to it. I know we are. Uh, I know the county is, and uh, it should be special. Well, it'll be a little bit cold, but we'll be here also. Tomorrow night, right here at the Inferno at 7 o'clock, Blackman Blaze and Riverdale Warriors, y'all be here.